sorry about that. I had a company, as I was saying, you can purchase these little bitty uh, different pieces to fit in your Dremel. side so that transformer is open. That's the transformer for the speaker and there's the speaker here. But we also need to check this valve. Something may have overloaded that. So we need to check all this, uh, this valve when you come to the capacity here. Make sure everything's up and right in that area. It's not going to destroy a new one. I've got a new one clips and we've sold this and wired the speaker. I've tested the 6v6 valve just to make sure it's not shorted and that's tested fine. So not the strongest valve but it's tested okay, there's no shorts. Um, I can't see any other problems. The, uh, I haven't done the isolation of the capacitor. We'll just see what we get and uh, I won't run it too long. We'll make sure that everything's okay after I uh, test it out. Now put a meter on the uh, plate of the output valve to see if it's getting voltage now. We've got a dim bulb. Let's see what it does. The bulb's on out, which is good. getting 
getting the voltage on our DC meter. It should actually work even on dim voltage if it's going to work. Still showing that it's reasonable. I've got to say, any time I've tested them, this has never come up much higher than that anyway. I've just got to rearrange the switches again for the next test. Alright, I'm all set for the uh, next test. I've got to put that on 26, I believe. Alright, let's see what this one does. That's a good deal better, isn't it? Well, I think that valve's alright. Hard to say, crazy test like that. So I'll do the other one. This is a 6G8. But I've done all the uh, shorts and element test and filament test on this. I'm not going to bore you again with that. And I've set all the uh, switches as per the chart. All right, I'm all set here. Uh, let's see how this one works. Oh, that's uh, that's very good. All right, just give me a second. I'll reset this to the second test. Okay, I'll set the levers and the dial to the second test for position. Hmm. So I would indicate that part of the valve's not working very well. I haven't got any more of these. So this is a double diode pentode valve, so perhaps that's the diode section that's not working so well and the pentode is working. Possibly it doesn't like testing diodes in this region. Seems odd to be so far down on the diodes. See how it performs in the radio. I've reworked this dial pointer um, so the string should stay there now. Now there's a mark on the uh, glass where the set pointer is and I've got the um, tuner fully meshed now. So I'm just going to mark the string where I want it, want it to end up. So I want it back here. Otherwise be, I can't do it right at the end there. It's just going to be too difficult. Let's take the uh, string off for a second. And it should go in there like that. There we go. So we're going to keep that over there like that. Straighten that up, I'll put a little square on there, make sure that's running square. When I put the glass on, I'll probably need to adjust the uh, position of this pointer. Uh, I'm not going to change the string position because it's uh, too, too hard. So all I'll do is just 